falling down. down. It's, it's the Jolly O. Johnson Show. When everybody's screaming Jesus, hold your breath. We're talking about this because uh, it's a continuation on the new show uh, that's coming out this fall called uh, Preachers of L.A. And a lot of people kind of up in the air about it. Why would, why would preachers do this? Why would they put themselves on these reality shows? Why? This is not good. I don't want to see them doing this. I don't want to see them doing that. What's really going on? And I, again, it goes down to, I say it's about revenue. Ratings, revenue, and religion. Man, why would I want to see my pastor on TV all in out of control when I know that I I just put whatever I could in church if it's 10% or if it's additional offering, I just put something in church to sow towards you being able to provide this service. For Raising this church revenue and religion. For this church to provide a service to me and the community. I'm not doing this because of of my belief in you. I'm doing this in my belief in God. But when I see you rolling around in a Bentley and I'm on a dark bus. Um, well, you ain't got no faith, sir. It's, it's going to make you me. You on a dark bus because your faith ain't right. And my faith ain't right. Get your faith up. Get your faith up. What I got to do on that? You got I, I can that, pray. That, that, I can that, that, that word God. that he preaching to you. He preaching that word. How do you, how do you, know, how do you hear the word except to be preached? You listen to that word, get it in your spirit, get your faith up. Your, your faith is in God, but you do get kind of shaken or upset when you see the pastor rolling around in the congregation. Hold on, hold on. And the congregation is during the close to hunger and can't pay the bills of food in the house. Because my church, we give food to families that need some food. We got a food pantry. Right. My church, if you need some help on your electricity, uh, on some utilities, the church is supposed to be there to help you. The church is supposed to be there to educate and evangelize. Okay. Now, if your pastor rolling around like that and the congregation is walking, ain't got no food, put it like this. If your pastor is rolling around in the bed lane, he see you walking on the side of the street and it's 104 degrees outside, he don't stop. But once you get to that church, he's parked right up front. Something wrong. <laughs> you sound mad. I'm not mad. I'm just pointing out the truth. All right. L let me ask you this question. Let's get to this point. What is wrong in your mind with uh, churches becoming focused on generating revenue outside of the typical avenues? In other words, you know, you got movies where preachers make movies and you got products and T-shirts and Things like that. It, it, do you have any issue with that? I think when that... The business side of ministry? Actually, I don't. But I think when that becomes your main focus to, as far as numbers and making money off that product, to a point where your life is more about the material gain that you can get from it instead of the shepherding of the flock that you have. Because I believe in community. That's what's been instilled in me from my church and my family history that we are supposed to work together and help each other as much as we can. I'm not saying make yourself destitute from trying to help somebody else, but still, you have, what does it say? Too much is given. Much is required. There we go. Let me, let me say this, though. For example, Lecrae, when the Unashamed Tour was here, and they had the table with all the hats and the T-shirt, hats was like $30. T-shirts like $25. Did that bother you? That bothered me because I want to buy it because it was high, but I understand as far as it takes money to, to run a ministry. Plain and simple. I have no problem with that. But when it becomes to a point where it's all about the money instead of the ministry. Well, if if you want to make, I think people, if they want to make ministry all about ministry and not about money, make sure that the ministry has money so they don't have to worry about it. True. That's where I think the bottom line comes. And I, I think a lot of people are involved in ministry, but their ends are not meeting. And so what it's doing is making them focus on money more. Yeah. You want somebody to stop focusing on money, then what you need to do, if you want people to stop focusing on money, my mic was on, it was then, then what you, could you actually even hear me? 
But I don't think I did. Probably picked you up on the other one. Yeah, but if 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 put it to you like this, if you want ministries not to focus on money, then you have to sow enough into them where that's not the issue. And, and enough people don't do that. More people talk than they do give. And I think that that's part of the problem that I have with a show like that. Because you have these people that's actually doing what the Bible say, what they believe in their heart, what the Bible says, and also on top of the uh, tithing, they give an offering, a love offering. And you see them giving whatever they can to this pastor or to this church, and you don't see many things happening as far as blessing other people and working together. From the way it looks, from the perspective of the show, Pastors of L.A., you see them ministering in church and helping people, but you see more about the glamorized lifestyle, or it's the big houses, the fancy materials, the cars, and stuff like that. But I think the show would be much better, and I'm kind of getting off topic because it's about money and religion. But I think if they show more of what that money is going to as far as the ministry part of it. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you have that. Now, I think at the end of the day, uh, if you're trying to be profitable where you're trying to make something happen, then, 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 you know, I would be mad if my pastor on Facebook I'm just saying, you know what I mean? If my past was a billionaire, I'd, I'd be good for it. I'd be like, love it. It's, I think you can do more when you got more money. I just, I just think that's the case. And I think we as uh, Christians have not necessarily figured out how to figure out ways to generate revenue without us feeling offended or feeling like we're not saved or we don't love God. The moment we start making a lot of money, we start acting like maybe we're not connected to God. And I think that's the hard part. That's the thing that becomes difficult for us. What is wrong with us in ministry making big dollars and trying to make big dollars, trying to come up with creative ways in order to generate revenues and create jobs and be able to uh, pay people salaries that can, you know. And that's the part that's missing. Where is this money going besides them showing, the show is just showing um, the, the church and showing a majority of the house and cars and the lifestyle. But that's the problem that people have, like, what are you doing with this money that's coming to this church, coming to this pastor? Are you creating jobs? You know? Are you helping uh, the homeless? Are you helping single moms? Are you helping people that are, are less fortunate? Are you going out and doing a great commission? Are you doing the work? Because your ministry is not just you standing up there preaching the message. It's actually uh, the witness to it also. Okay, okay, all right. All right, we're, we're gonna talk about this a little later, but listen, uh, I might put a poll up on Facebook. I might ask the question, you know, if your pastor, if your pastor is doing, you know, would it bother you if your pastor was flashy? That's what I'm going to ask, I think. I think a, another poll question should be, should there really be VIP seating or VIP uh, you, parking? You, know you, you need to get over that. Of course there needs to be VIP. <laughs> it's simple. VIP stands for very important person. Really? Yeah. So and there are situations where people are very important. I want to see Jesus rolling up. Oh, uh, you, you're going, you're taking it too far. <laughs> VIP That's is for a very important person. It is, it is, if an event is going on, you know. I'm just giving you a hard time, man. Oh, you, oh, you just playing with me? That's all, I'm just playing. I understand that. You it's say that, no, you say that a lot, though. You say, <laughs> I think you really do got a problem in the VIP section. No, not really. Uh, as I get more and more into this thing, I understand um, a reason for, mm -hmm. you know, access to certain things and, you know, kind of have a, a separation because, believe me, there's people out there that probably want to do the past and whoever else some harm. So you got to have guarded areas. Yeah. And see, again, the hardest thing for the church is to do things that uh, show growth and going somewhere without offending people because it, the first thing people are going to say to you is you're worldly. You know, as soon as you do something that that's making some sense and it's successful. Mm -hmm. If it ain't got nothing to do with uh, hooping and hollering, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh-huh. You know, y'all laughing, but I be, you know, I I be thinking sometimes, you know, you know, when a pastor get the hoop and they go, eh, eh, I be wanting to tell a usher, go take him, uh, take him one of them things because he's for uh, an inhaler. Yeah, you know. get them on oxygen mask yeah. or something, because they be killing me. I'll be like, are you serious? It don't take all that? For real. All right, we, we out of here. It's the Antonio Johnson Show. That wraps up the five-minute discussion. Always a lot longer than five minutes. But, hey, uh, you know, if you're watching this video, once you comment, you know, let us know. What do you think about your pastor? Is it okay for your pastor to be flashy? Well, you want your pastor to be flashy, or you want him to be basic? Would you want you want your pastor shopping at, at Nordstrom, or you want him shopping at K and G? Which one? All right. I think I want him shopping at K and G. All right, it's the Antonio Johnson show.